Some people seem to object that uh, talking about qualia is kind of idealizing the universe or idealizing oneself, saying that you're not really seeing things for what they really are. You're seeing things, you're seeing what you want to see. Not necessarily. <laughs> um, as I said, when you start to examine what's uh, going on in here, you come across a couple of nightmare <laughs> scenarios that uh, can really throw you for a loop. For example, let's say that you believe in the reality of what's going on up in the Belfry. You believe that your experiences are real. What happens when you have a truly horrible experience that's completely internal? Let's say that you realize that existence is eternal, or existence just is. It uh, Existence transcends time and everything. And existence is unimaginably horrible, and you've somehow constructed the phenomenal universe as a means of distracting yourself from that. Uh, <laughs> that you know, that's a, a thought experiment I think that a fair number of people sort of dabble in, although it's so terrifying that a lot of people don't really uh, go any further with it. Um, well, I've considered that a number of times, and it's kind of the exact opposite of any notion that you're... Um, that you're just uh, creating a universe that's nice because that's what you want to see. Um, <clears throat> you sort of the if you put rea if you put Quelly on the on the uh, level of reality or a reality that's even uh, more valid, I guess, in a certain way than sense perception, because Quelly sort of stands. Look, we we only can experience senses, what, what, our, what our senses tell us through the medium of qualia. Okay, let's say that we say that your qualia, we say our qualia are more uh, valid than, uh, than the outside world, and you have terrible qualia, uh, like horrifying, like existential panic type thing. Well, that, you can call that many things, but it's not idealization. In fact, I would say it's the exact opposite of idealization. Instead of saying, oh, life is wonderful, you're saying reality itself is horrid. I think most people who've kind of had, the, who've experienced the negative side of um, an inner journey will <laughs> will attest to this. It's, it's a terrifying <laughs> experience. So, yes, it's uh, anyone who says that... Uh, Quelia are some sort of way of manipulating or justifying existence kind of doesn't really understand what <laughs> what your experiences can actually do. Um, it's it's sort of zap phase distraction, only it's taking place internally. You're trying to not only just distract yourself from the outside world, you're trying to distract yourself from what's going on in here as well. Not even what's going on, but what is in here. Um, <clears throat> of course, there are ways beyond this kind of terrible uh, emotional and psychological cul-de-sac, and the obvious one is, well, you have some control over the reality that is going on inside y yourself, or the reality of your experience. You have some actual control over it all. You may not have uh, actual control over a heck of a lot in the phenomenal universe, but you have a lot more control over your qualia. Um, so yes, maybe the horrible thing, or the horrible place, or the horrible experience, or the just the pure horror of it all that you do see inside it might be real, but you have more control over it than the horror that you see without. <laughs>